Morning. This is Arnie Waters here at ArnieWaters.com in Boston, Massachusetts. Looking out at gold today, gold trading between 1658, 1665, something like that. There's a variance between the spot and the future that will be corrected pretty soon. Uh, and we see gold trading in the 1660-ish down to 1640 range for most of this week. Uh, part of the reason for this is the imposition of the sales tax in India has uh, harmed demand in that country as the gold dealers continue to be on strike, uh, and as well as their, all their support, uh, their, about several hundred thousand people are employed in the gold industry in India. Uh, secondly, as we look toward Europe once again, with a little tee hee in our hands, uh, we have suggested to you a long time ago that the real problem in Europe was neither Greece nor Italy, but Spain and Portugal. The Spanish situation, particularly after the regional elections, uh, forced some questions about the future of the austerity program, suggest that there are going to be some grave difficulties in Spain. Now, the reason this is all important is that th one must understand the role that the Europeans play in the larger world. While they are of small but no significance to us economically, to the Chinese, they're vastly important. So net reductions in demand, problems in Europe, have a tremendous ripple effect back into China. Now, as you know, we're more concerned about China's politics than Chinese, Chinese economy. Uh, the purge of Bo and Bo's disappearance, along with his family's disappearance, uh, as the Financial Times reported over the weekend, that there's now uh, an army officer answering the door at Bo's mansion. Uh, these are ominous signs of the classic return to the old days in China where people suddenly disappear. And this is a sign further of the resurgence of communism. Remember that many observers feel that Bo's greatest crime was he started to personalize his success. So as he became more and more important and he became recognized for doing the things that the central party had sent him to do, in his region, uh, this in turn provoked the reaction that you see today, where he has not been seen for some time. And so it's not clear whether he will be seen again or whether he will be posted to some obscure place to live out the rest of his life. Uh, let us hope for the best. But the signs here are ominous where somebody actually tries to democratize, somebody actually tries to change things, and all of a sudden the person disappears. Uh, next, we want to point out in our China list of concerns, of course, uh, many worldwide manufacturers have already begun to transfer their Chinese labor, cheap labor costs, to other regions in Asia, such as Indonesia and Vietnam and Thailand because Chinese wages are being forced up due to the cost of living in China. This, of course, means a huge advantage to the Chinese and may be in severe danger uh, as worldwide manufacturers shift operations to other places. Uh, lastly, going back to Spain, the real question in Spain is can the banks get enough capital to uh, save themselves? And the, the the Spaniards are essentially in the same situation that we were in three or four years ago, uh, namely that there's incredible amounts of money tied up in mortgages, incredible amounts of money tied up in underwater commercial developments. And so the question is, can the Spanish banks raise enough capital? And in the meantime, uh, I expect the U.S. stock market essentially to be flat. I was encouraged by Bernanke's comments this morning that United States unemployment may be coming structural in nature. The recognition on the part of a leading of the leading uh, governor of the central bank that our, our unemployment problem is becoming structural means there's at least a prospect of the problem being solved. This is Arnie Waters. Aim for the ice flows. By the way. What day are you going to be happy if you're not going to be happy today? Thanks.